Good morning, guys. I just got ready. I'm gonna go on a walk this morning. It's pretty early this morning. My parents are still here. I just wanna get my life together. You guys know if you've been following along with my vlogs, I just moved to California. If you're new here, I moved from Arizona and I'm really excited for this new chapter of life. And it works out perfect because it's the beginning of June. And if you also watch my videos, you know that I love like resetting and it's just the perfect time for that. I moved into a new space. I want to create new habits in a new space. And I also love resetting at the beginning of every single month anyway. So it's going to be a really fun vlog. It's going to be a two-day vlog because it's Saturday right now. So I have Saturday and Sunday before the week starts and I'm just really excited. So I thought I would just take you guys around with me today. Part vlog style, part like reset routine in a new space. But yeah, Hunter also just went and got me Starbucks because he's an angel and I love him. Shout out Hunter, even though I know you're not watching this. But that'll be fun. My parents are still here, like I said. We're going to do a farmer's market haul. But let's go on our walk and then we'll get ready for the day. like honestly every single morning or every single morning that I can I'm gonna try and stretch you guys should do it too I feel like you could easily put on like one of my YouTube videos and stretch to it because I feel like a lot of the time I'm just like talking or cooking or something like that but something I wanted to talk to you guys about is the sponsor of today's video Coco just barked so she's obviously really excited too I'm actually working with case to I don't have my case to case yet because I accidentally sent it to the wrong address so I'm really excited for that to come in this week I'll show you when I get it on the vlogs you guys know I vlog like every day so I'll show you guys when I get them but I'll put some pictures on the screen of the ones that I ordered if you guys don't know what case to is they have super cute minimal or pattern cases and they're super customizable you can put your initials on them you could do like a photo gallery when I had my old phone I had a photo gallery on there that's the only reason why I don't have a case to case yet is because I got a new phone they're just one of my favorite companies I love having a case to case on my phone another thing that I love about case to is that their cases are actually stylish without being like too bulky or like huge because you would think that since they're so protected that they'd be like a huge case but they're actually so thin and minimal and they're also 5g compatible and wireless charging compatible their cases are actually made with an antibacterial coat which is designed to protect your phone from germs and it kills up to 99.9% .9 of germs so I love that and also another thing that I really love is they're actually made with a G-Tech material that's made to protect your phone up to 9.8 feet with the ultra impact cases also their new impact cases and ultra impact cases are made from 65% recycled material and they're plant-based they're 100% non-toxic and they're also 100% non-hazardous so I love them so much if you guys want to check them out get a new case for like the summertime June we're going to a different season so it's always fun to have a new phone case but you guys can actually go to caseify.com slash Caitlin you'll get 15% off you don't have to use any code or anything it'll be automatically applied at checkout if you use the link in my description so please Please, please click the link at least just scroll on their website see if there's any cases that you love they have so many different options and thank you again case to for sponsoring today's video Okay, that took way too long, but made our bed. Also, update, we still don't have our nightstands. They were supposed to come yesterday, that's my tripod. So hopefully they come today, and then we can put together our new lamps, which are little mushroom lamps. I showed them in my last vlog. So, we're gonna go to the farmer's market. And my coffee that they got me. It's a grande iced almond milk latte. Again, I still don't know how to do it on the app to do half almond milk, half oat milk, but you guys know that's my favorite, so I really need to figure it out, but it's so good. <sighs> Good morning, baby girl. <laughs> Hi. Hi, girl, girl. Well, I don't know. I don't think it's anything else. Yeah, I feel like actually a lot of stuff. Man, I What are you doing? Farmer's Market haul, we just got home. We forgot the bags that we were gonna bring, like the aloe bags that I used to grocery shop. 
So we're gonna go back to the farmer's market tomorrow. There's a different one. Get like the fruits and vegetables and stuff, but we got some fun little products. So I got this huge thing of sourdough from a little sourdough stand. Then we got some kefir. It's pretty much like, I think this is the same thing that like Siggy's uses. So I got a plain one for me. The lemon was so good. So we're gonna keep that in the fridge. And then my mom loved the white chocolate one. We tried them, so good. I was thinking about mixing this plain one with the honey we got, we got this creamy wildflower honey. It's raw and filtered. That's so good in like coffee on toast. Got a bunch of raw almonds, some hot sauce. This hot sauce is really good too. It's made with like apple cider vinegar, wholesome ingredients. Very excited we tried this. We tried like everything. And then we got some olives. We were thinking about doing Greek salads for lunch, like chicken Greek salads. So we got Kalamata olives, and then my mom got the blue cheese olives. I hate blue cheese. It's like the only food I don't like, but she loves those. And then we got some pita bread. And then these are what I'm most excited about. We got fresh organic hummus. So this is just like chickpeas, tahini, olive oil. So yummy. That one's original. And then this one is jalapeno cilantro hummus. So first farmer's market experience was so fun like literally the second i walked in i like turned to my brother i was like i love this place but we're gonna go get some like groceries at the grocery store close to us and get some chicken some stuff to make salads like tomatoes and stuff so we can do greek salads or actually i might do avocado toast for breakfast and then we'll do the salads for lunch but we're gonna go to the grocery store real quick I forgot about the farmer's market hot sauce. I'm gonna put this on top. I actually haven't tried this one. I tried a few other ones. I'm scared it's gonna be hot. Let me try it. Oh my God, that's so hot, but it's so good. Oh my God, that tastes so good. It's like smoky. Hunter's gonna try the like Greek yogurt. Oh look, we have this little spoon. Yogurt spoon? This is the white chocolate. Mmm. That's good. I thought you you, like I it. knew you'd like that I don't like really like one. yogurt, but that's good. I, knew, I told you he'd like that one. Here, there's a little white chocolate chip. You want that? This week, my family's obviously in town, so I went out to eat. We had the best pasta, the best bread. I feel like you don't see a lot in these, like, reset videos going out to eat just because I think a lot of people think of, like, reset as, like, cooking at home a lot and grocery shopping and all that, but I always practice balance. And then when I got home, I decided to write down some goals for my month. I always do this in my resets. This is really helpful for me to just stay on track for the month and then I also made myself some tea which I like to do every single night. First time using the Fellow. I think that's how you say this. I'm not really sure. I bought it because I saw Sané Volet always used it for her matcha and it's really really cute. I feel like I honestly just got it because it looks cute on the counter but it worked so well. Yay. Usually I just microwave my tea. <laughs> so this was definitely an upgrade. Good morning. It's the next morning. I wrote this list last night from my cookbook, like everything I want to have this week. I mean, I didn't really finish it. I kind of just down the list of things that I want to get at the farmer's market today and then also Costco because we forgot our farmer's market bags yesterday, like I said, so we're going to do a different one today in Laguna Niguel and I just wanted to write down some stuff that we need. So also I showed this cookbook in my last vlog. I'm loving it so far. It has so many yummy like whole food recipes and I really like it. So. I got that on Amazon, it was only like 15 bucks. One of my favorite ways to set myself up for success is always having breakfast ready in the fridge. This morning I did overnight oats, it's so easy. I just put rolled oats, almond milk, chia seeds, vanilla, and maple syrup in the fridge overnight, and then I add some fresh berries and almond butter in the morning. We're not gonna forget our bags today. <laughs> And also when we get back, I'm gonna organize everything in our fridge with these Amazon containers that I got that are for like organizing the fridge. This is the farmer's market outfit. Sweatpants, Brandy Melville, like oversized sweatshirt, aloe top, necklaces, my Nike Dunks. We're back from the farmer's market. I just threw everything in the fridge for now, but later on today we're gonna actually organize it. It was kind of a hit, kind of a miss today. It was a lot smaller, the farmer's market we went to today than yesterday, so we'll try again next week. But we did get some fun stuff, and I'll probably just like implement some of the fruits and vegetables that we didn't get from Whole Foods later on. But I'm gonna make myself a coffee. I'm using one of these jars. It didn't really wash that well from Amazon, but that could have also been the Trader Joe's 
dishwasher pod that I was using, but I don't think I can make it right in there. I'm gonna have to brew the espresso in this because it has a little point so I can pour it in the cup. We're going to the beach with Coco before my parents leave. One of my brothers already left. He went back to Arizona and then my brother who lives in LA leaves today and then my parents leave in the morning. That's the update, but we're making ourselves a coffee. We need to get the, where's the, I don't even know where everything is. Oh, right here. Okay, we're in the car, obviously. It's literally so gloomy outside today. I'm not used to this, but I'm trying out a new spin class today because I love spinning and I loved spinning in Arizona. So I thought I'd probably feel a little bit more homey here in California if I find a studio that I really like. Seriously, something that helps me and just like my mental health, my overall well-being, my fitness journey is finding a workout style that actually is enjoyable. Like something I want to go to because if you aren't enjoying your workouts, you're never gonna get yourself to the gym. And if you do get yourself to the gym, it's gonna to have that like negative feeling like you're forcing yourself to go or you're lacking motivation some weeks it's just more realistic to not rely on motivation because not everybody's motivated every single day I'm not motivated every day what really gets me motivated inspired and pushes me to complete my fitness goals is finding workout and movement that I really enjoy for me it's walking it's cycling lifting weights hit workouts I find that if I can't go to like a gym or something it really helps me to watch like a YouTube video someone I love on YouTube follow along with their workouts and you just have to enjoy the movement you're doing it's the same thing as foods if you're eating chicken rice and vegetables every single day because yeah it's nutrient dense but if you don't enjoy it you're never gonna want to eat those foods and that's why I just like fully believe that if you want to become your best self you have to play trial and error and just find what you really really love and what works for you because because that's like the only way you can do it. The only way to figure out if you like something is if you try it, and if you never try it, you never know. It's a while later, I don't know what time it is. Three, 3.33, my lucky number. But I'm gonna organize the fridge finally. I just threw everything into the fridge, like nothing really has a purpose right now. As you can see, it just, it's not cute, so. In five minutes, probably like 10 minutes, this is gonna look a lot cuter. And I'm gonna use all of these containers that I showed you guys earlier, so. Okay, like an hour later. Well, I started 30 minutes ago. This is the fridge tour. By the way, we have the smart fridge. We stole it from my parents and I really like it. But look how organized it looks. I really don't think that this is gonna last. I'm gonna try and do this every Sunday, but like throughout the week it's definitely gonna get all messed up. But I highly recommend if you're trying to do like some sort of reset or just get re-motivated for the month or whatever period of life you fell off of or whatever, I highly recommend, you don't have to do this extreme, but just organizing your fruits and vegetables so you can see it in some way. If that's meal prepping a little bit or just like washing it, putting it in the drawers like this because when you can see it, you're way more likely to eat the vegetables and it just makes your life so much easier throughout the week and it takes out a level of stress but anyway this is what we have so far i did my spring mix and lettuce in this little jar with a paper towel i did my carrots and also my celery and some water this keeps them like really crisp i have my zucchinis right here we're gonna do like a zucchini noodle and pasta dish this week i have some strawberries for my overnight oats blackberries usually just for snacking Blueberries for me and for Coco because Coco loves blueberries. More strawberries. I definitely eat strawberries like the most. And then we have some cilantro. We keep it in a jar with water with a little baggie over top of it. Down here, I have all of my like fun stuff from the farmer's market. I got this at the farmer's market today. I didn't show this yesterday. It's an avocado oil vinaigrette and it looks really, really good. It's lemon vinaigrette. And this brand was super good. It's called Forbidden Superfoods. They have like granola, things like that. I'll probably try that next week. 
And then I got two hummuses. You guys saw that. So I have my hummus up here, my yogurt up here. And I looked up this type of yogurt and it said it was really good for gut health because it's fermented. And it literally tastes better than Greek yogurt. Like, I'm a huge fan. Hot sauce that I got and then a Primal Kitchen Chipotle Lime Avocado Oil Mayonnaise. Primal Kitchen products are my favorite. My eggs are in this cute Amazon dish. You guys saw all these Amazon products in my last vlog, the first moving vlog. I got like a huge Amazon order because this is exactly how I wanted our fridge. We've had such a small fridge for such a long time, so I've been thinking about this for a while. I have my breads in here. We have Dave's Killer Bread and then sourdough. My mom got that one. That's her favorite bread. I like sourdough. And then we have some meats down here, some leftovers from Javier's the other night. And then we're gonna make fresh orange juice and put them in these bottles this week. But that's pretty much it. Another thing I didn't show is we got all the meal prep containers clean and put away in here. We also have an air fryer now. Well, we got that a really long time ago, but we never used it in our last apartment. My camera's about to die, but we're actually going to my cousin's house who lives in Laguna Beach for our last like little family potluck. It's only my parents here tonight, so my brothers already went home. I thought we were gonna go to Costco today, but it didn't end up working out, but that's okay. We'll go tomorrow and that'll probably be in my next week of my life, but I need to go get ready for a little family. I keep wanting to call it a potluck. Family like barbecue tonight. Okay, it's a little bit later. I'm kind of in a rush because everyone's waiting for me outside, but I wanted to show you my outfit for a little family barbecue tonight. I obviously am just wearing something chill, but this cropped black shirt I wear all the time it's from the brand called NBD on Revolve I will link it down below it's really really comfy and they also have a white one I need to get that and then this oversized leather blazer is super cute this is from Princess Polly it's really oversized well I also got it in a size 8 so I ordered it a little bit more oversized because I really like that look and then these jeans are also from Revolve their girlfriend denim super cute like a dark wash I'm wearing my 112s. These are the Dior Custom Air Force Ones, and they're so cute. These are literally one of my favorite pair of shoes, and I always forget about them because I try and keep them clean, but they look so cute. So shout out 112, shout out Lily. Oh, also I'm wearing my coach bag. I showed you guys this a couple of vlogs ago. It's the pillow tabby bag. So yeah, I will take you guys with us, and it's my parents last night. Not excited for the morning, but we'll get through it. <laughs> 